Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. Back today with another how-to video. Today we're doing rear brakes. It's on a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. We're gonna do brakes and rotors. And this one is happens to be the twist-in style calipers. So that's why I'm going through the process on this one is because of the, the twist-in. It's not your normal press-in calipers. I just did a video on the front brakes. They're the normal standard pressing calipers pretty basic if you can do the fronts on that you can do the rears on anything and i'm just going to mostly do this so i can show you how to do the twist in part of the caliper but anyway to get the brakes off you've got 13 mil here and on the bottom that's when you have to take them both off and sometimes you have to kind of like wiggle it around to get it off to get it around there because you've got your e-brake cable back here and you've got kind of stuff kind of binding it up so it kind of has a hard time coming around the rotor but it will and then you've got here is an 18 millimeter you got one on top one on bottom and that gets your bracket off so we'll go to that point and then i will be right back to show you what to do from there all right so we got all that off bracket off caliper off bracket off rotor off most of the time they just slide right off sometimes you have to smack them with a hammer sometimes they have a little screw holding it in this particular one was was straight up slide off brakes don't look too bad a couple little little marks in there and the reason why you see how it's kind of got some uneven wear it's got this little groove in the middle here is you see on the rotor it doesn't have a very good actually surface area where it's hitting it's only hitting in here it's not really rubbing out here or out here so that's their complaint it was just making a little bit of noise almost sounded like a wheel bearing was bad kind of sound like the bearing might be a little bit noisy may not hurt to, may not hurt to throw a bearing on it and kind of hear it but i know the brakes are making noise from all the rust on them and not a very good surface area there front looks okay so we're gonna do this Maybe I'll come back with another video on how to change out this hub. But for now, we're just doing the brakes, pads and rotors, twist in caliper. We'll show you how to do this. They do make a kit that makes it easier. There's many different ways you can do this. The easiest way is they do make a kit that has all these little attachments in it. The one I, the one I need is right here. I'll show it to you over here. But it's got this has got this little plate it's got these two little two little pins that go into these little these little triangle spots right here and then it just twists in and it goes onto one of these that kind of screws in i can leave a link below so you can buy one of these if you want i'm not necessarily saying i recommend going out and buying a, one of these kits if you're just going to do your brakes one time almost not worth it if you're going to do these a lot I definitely recommend buying the tool if you're not and just need it one time a lot of these parts stores AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advance, whatever these parts stores are a lot of them will rent it to you or I guess it's called loan it you, you buy the tool full price and then they give you 100% of your money back when you return it so kind of on a it's kind of free you just have to pay for it up front and then you get your money back so that's what I would recommend if you're going to do just like once if you, can do it, if you can do a lot of them plan on keeping the car doing a lot of them doing them on the side not a bad idea to get the tool but anyway you just slip this in here like so you put that in behind the caliper bracket like that you just put the two things in the put the two little little pins in the groove there and then you just twist this till it comes all the way out great there we go that's better should look it should lay pretty flush in there may not be perfect but it should lay pretty flush there's some daylight in the, between there but should be that and then you just and then you just give the twist you just give it a, you just give it a twist and i need two hands but um, it's kind of hard one hand but you just twist that in you hold the caliper or sometimes you can bolt it back onto the bracket. 
but if, if you're if you got the bracket on you just bolt it to the bracket twist that in but hold the caliper twist that thing in and you should be good to go okay so it's working it's going in I still got a little ways to go but as I twist the handle this part here it comes loose because you're twisting it the same way as you would to loosen it so it loosens up so you got to kind of keep twisting that to keep it tight so it stays in right there but other than that just keep on twisting it in until you're all the way in you'll you'll pretty much know when you're all the way in okay so we got all the way in you you want to make sure that the little notches are up and down in the caliper straight up and down because you've got you've got a little pin on your pad that that caliper kind of rides in so the caliper doesn't twist it just goes in so it just kind of rides in that little groove right there so make sure those are straight up and down and that's basically how you how you do a twist in caliper the brakes put back together pretty self-explanatory rotor bracket clips pins lube lube everything up go back and rewatch my other video or into the front that shows you how to put everything take everything apart put everything back together other, other than twisting those in it's just doing brakes so pretty easy so i will let you go from here please be sure to subscribe to the channel hit that thumbs up every little bit helps doesn't cost you anything to, to hit the like button and subscribe and it, but it sure helps the channel out a ton every little bit leave a comment if you know a different way different tools to use different strategies different you know what please share with the viewers let them know so we can all get it done correctly quick quickly easily it's the best easiest way i know but like i said if there's something else you you know that's easier let us know in the comments and i will see you next time